to the tower at the moment. He gets oh, his he's not spotted. triple stacked up. Bjergsen coming in. He's taking a lot of damage though, Mima. Will he be dead before he gets there? Oh, he manages to catch a turret on back. I'm, I'm pushing, pushing. He gets taken now. Malunu came in. Then it's Bjergsen that picks up first blood. And that's something that makes NIP wear the next point of aggression. Fnatic know, know that he's in there. Actually still going to throw out Irvin. He's going to catch on uh, push him, but he manages to condemn him and hook him and exhaust him. And just like that, Playful tricks us away. So as teleports in and Stop of Force doesn't catch on towards him. But doesn't matter. Cyanide's there. Bjergsen getting punted around left, right, oh, center. Oh, oh he's got oh, oh. Then he gets on push him. He gets him. How the hell did he pull the kill out? Playful tricks us over the trees. We'll see whether he does manage to get in there. Bjergsen with teleport is coming in behind them. He's coming in just on top of Yellowstar, tries to flame him away and actually does a good job of it, but that's going to mean collateral... Uh, co 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 collateral damage. Collateral no. damage, baby. What? Graves no. is going to suddenly make... <laughs> minutes. We saw how quick... Oh, that's going to be Earth getting thrown out. He goes on towards Yellowstar. Is he going to get the Lich Brain Brock? No, he's going to get pulled into the tower. He's not going to get the kill. This time they controlled him. Four on three. They're going to push in here. We could see an interest in Shadow Dash to see whether anyone goes in towards it. He went for Sina, didn't land it. Strangle Thorns get thrown out. <laughs> Unstoppable Force actually pulled Earth onto Yellowstar. Not really what they're asking. Great cataclysm catching on. Saras pulls out Unstoppable Force. That's going to be Fizz going down. Now they're going to turn this one around. Mimus trying to make a mad dash for it, but it's not going to happen. Becca comes in. The orb gets thrown out. Not the damage, but Cyanide pulls out the Lee Syndrome. Uh, both these teams have to fight for it. And it's just about who can get the better position, who can punch, but wow, Bjergsen getting taken low. Getting catch on there, there's going to be Earth popping up. Not quite the damage on Peke in here. Cyanide is just around the tribus. Defugio gets hooked in again, but there's going to be a nice catch on towards Pushu. Try and jump in, Cataclysm tries to tumble out of it. Dragon Strike will finish that one off. Now Yellowstar, he's the focus. Big fight breakout, but the Luna coming in from the side. They're coming from every angle. Peke is going to get caught out of position here. He's going to have to use his Spirit Rush, but he hasn't got it available. So instead, he could get locked up. We're going to see the Charm land on. Mime is going to have Shadow dash back in a moment so they didn't get the middle turret and now it looks like they're going to lose a member of their team there's going to be playful trickster from Bjergsen still not able to close the gap poor Peke is going to try and turn it around gets the charm on Maluno spirit rush was used to get him out of this fight eventually as the cooldown came up but look at this Fnatic setting a trap Oh, Bjergsen, this is not a good position to be in. This is not a good position, and the fish has been caught, line, hook, line, and sinker. But will he get away with it? Stan United comes out. They're going to try and force in Peke. Oh, no! That's going to be Earth turning it back around. Goes in there. Playful tricks us away. Gets Peke down. There's the box from Yellowstar, but Sina comes back in around the side. Puts a kick to the face. Gets him in the jawline. Deficio now. He's caught out. The silver bolts from Pushu. Get himself a second kill. A little bit of momentum for tomorrow, but so as he's going to get caught here. He's going to get caught out. The Earth's going to... Fish is going to get thrown towards him, but look at that. Not a great deal of damage to Lich Bane. Everything thrown towards him. Stop all force and just walks away. Like now, the Lich Bane will do a lot of work here from Bjergsen. This is not a good trade for Fnatic. A dragon for an inner turret, or technically two turrets? That's a horrendous trade. Stop them on this one. Bjergsen stuck around a little bit too long. Peke tries to use that Spirit Rush, catches on towards him. <laughs> but the Shadow Dash turns around, he catches the Earth on towards him. Peke is going to get taken low and dropped. And now Soaz is in trouble. The Stop all Force isn't available this time around. He has got Flash, though, but you can see the damage. Playful tricks the back on towards him. He wants to flash across, but gets caught with a Shadow Dash. from Farm channeled into him. He's already at 380 but we see the engage on Bjergsen. Corbin the top of the force, backed up straight by the charm. Oh, the Zonia's outgast just at the right time. He's going to play for Trickster straight away. Is it going to be enough? He pops out. Yes. He's still going away. Finally goes down. Shades Mima, though, that picks up the kill on towards Cyanide. Now they're going to try and lock up another. Push you with that vein ultimate running. Can he catch down Maluno? No, he can't. They missed his 70 CS advantage. He gets hooked in there, but Yellowstar's like, we got to stop oh, them. Oh, is coming. Baron is dangerous with a three-man right now. The charm lands on towards Mima. Not really the target they wanted. He's very tanky. Gets the shadow. That's on towards Peke. He gets just drilled down. His deficient half thousand hit points. So Ness Bjergsen comes in, flashes home guard boots on towards him. So as that's the one, stop all force away, but Freeze Dot manages to pick up the kill. And that is here, here it comes. He goes in, throws out the lobster, push you, Cataclysm. That's actually going to put Bjergsen out of the way, unfortunately for him. Couldn't get close enough. The Shadow Dash not going to close the gap. Doesn't matter. Bjergsen comes across, slices. See, it's still inside. It's so amazing at it. Let's see what he can do. He's waiting in the wings of Ward goes down. Is he going to get across in time? That's the question. No, because Bjergsen's going to turn aggressive on him instead. And look at the damage coming out towards him. He tries to ulti kick away. Doesn't matter. Freeze lands the last shot.
That is going to be Baron for Ninjas and Pajamas. To the 44 minute mark, I think we're still very close. Oh to the no! Oh, they're going to come in together still! Cyanide manages to take it. Doesn't matter whether he dies, he doesn't care because he's got the steal. And now Fnatic have the ball in their court. Strangle Thorns you. Peke trying to get away. He's going to get locked up. Zonny's Hourglass will not save him. He will get taken down. Soaz comes in. And Stop Force, he's going to get dropped as well. NIP do get themselves three kills, but they may be able to get the damage with that. To addition of the Lich Bane on towards that Nexus to it. Just the one, that's all they need. Doesn't matter. Yellowstar's going to get caught out there. But look at that. Pugsen having to use the Zonius. The rest of the team coming back up there. Throws out Earth. Catches on towards Cyanide. Now Ninja in pajamas might be able to finish the game off. They've got both Nexus to it. It's down. They do manage to catch on towards Cyanide. That's how close that game was. They almost lost it at that Baron with that steal. And you see how much that means over to Fnatic. Soaz is just so broken over that game. Going 0-3 in a super week so far.